you want to say hi? Hi, Flosstube. Hi, Flosstube. I'm Morgan. This little one is Nala. Thanks for stopping by for another Flosstube video. Boy, do I look tired. It has been a week, but we are here. What are you looking at? Hey. If you're new here, thank you for stopping by and hanging out with me. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. Either way, welcome. I hope you enjoy what you see and what I have to, to show you and speak about. And if all else fails, I hope that you think that she's really cute and she's worth sticking around for. Hey. Today is actually Friday. I haven't filmed on a Friday in a long time because work's been so chaotic. Um, but I'm taking the last of the sunshine that I can get. Um, it is currently almost 4.30 and we're heading into winter so it will start to get dark pretty quickly um but we'll see how we go i have uh some whip mania plans plans uh whip mania updates on my uh, works in progress i have the smallest amount of haul um and what i'm doing with that as well so um hopefully it won't be a really long video We'll see how it goes. I think every time I've said that, it's ended up being quite long. Um, but I'm going to try and churn through this just so I don't lose the sunshine, the daylight, and so I can go and get this one some dinner. Hey, you ready to rock? You ready? All right. So I spoke about it in my uh, most recent video that I was going to do whip mania. So I have seven whips. A works in progress, sorry. I'll try and explain all the acronyms as I use them. Um, I have seven, so I was gonna do a daily rotation of them and then uh, do that for the four weeks of May and then use the last few days to catch up on either of the stitch alongs that I'm doing. Um, I've stuck to it. I have found that, that um, I'm using the Tiny Decisions app and I've found that it is kind of giving me the the same um, pickings on each day, which is um, not so random, but um, for example, I'll pop on the screen here what my month so far has looked like, um, and it's pretty consistent in the days that I'm pulling things. I'm not necessarily complaining because it's actually working with my schedule, and I'm not sure if I might actually just continue with this kind of um, daily plan. I um, I want to work on the Dark Queen on weekends, on a Saturday or a Sunday, so I've got a full day of stitching on her, um, just because her most recent section is so big, and I already feel like I am struggling to get, like, to keep up with that and be on a good timeline and a good schedule. I'll get there, but I just, um, yeah, I'm struggling a little bit at the moment. Um, and then Wednesdays, I have the least amount of time to stitch. I, I dance. I have danced ballet, tap, jazz, contemporary, and all of that since I was three. Uh, so I've been doing it for nearly 25 years, or this will be my 24th. I think I'm in my 24th year. Um, and it's just a passion, a hobby of mine that I can't really, it, it, like, ever imagine not doing. Um... But I do that on a Wednesday evening straight after work. So Wednesdays are usually my least stitchy day. Um, and both Wednesdays I've called my smallest whip, which has actually kind of been helpful because I'm not too concerned about not getting too much time in on that one and seeing much progress. I did say in my last video, I'm not putting any goals on these whips. Um, the only goal I have for the month is to try and keep up with the stitch along, but that that's kind of it. Like no other progress goals on finishes or sections or anything like that. It's just to try and give them all a little bit of love. Um, so anyway, I guess I'll just start with, I've got a pile next to me and I'll start with what's on top. Once little miss decides to settle herself down. What are you doing? Okay. Is that good? All right, so my very first whip is uh, the Dark Queen of the Sea Stitch Along. So this is the one from um, 
Autumn Land Citry with, I've blanked, Leslie at Under the Sea Fabrics. So I'm using all the called for threads. Uh, they're all DMC except for a few petite treasure braid. Um, and then the called for linen from um, Under the Sea Fabrics. So it's 32 count Lugana in Bewitched. Um, I've done, like that's the bottom of her from memory and then I feel nah oh my gosh she anytime she can rest her head on something that's it that's where she sleeps thank you um so I'm at the bottom here um and then I'm pretty sure apart from one or two other little blobs that is all I think 550 or the one color um so I'm trying to I'm trying to do the least amount of color and block it all out so that I can then mindlessly stitch in and fill in the larger two colors of um, of thread without needing my tablet or anything like that, have it all outlined. Just that's obviously the, the grind of it. And then I can very easily fill in, that's no problem. And um, as much as I've been only working this on Sundays, or the two days I've called it, um, I have left it on the Q-snap and kind of next to me because if I um, have an extra minute during the day, I want to put an extra stitch in on this. So that's kind of what I've been doing. So that's her, part nine. Um, getting there. I just feel like, like I love her. I just feel like this one month in particular is just such a mammoth feat. But we'll get there. I'm really sorry if you don't like dogs because I think this is just going to be the Nala show today. You right? Okay. Can I keep going? Hey. Okay. So I'll leave that one till later if it stays. Uh, next up we have the Gilmore Girls, um, the Raining Lorelai's chart that is from Forbidden Fiber Co. This was a uh, sorry a mystery kit that I purchased. I haven't ironed anything either, by the way. Sorry. Um, I purchased a mystery kit that comes with the linen, which is frozen, dyed by um, Leanne at Forbidden Fiber Co. And then it came with the four flosses, um, the needle minder, the part of the pattern, and a project bag. Um, so I have just those three panels left. I managed to get two of them done. So first one says in Omnia Paratus and the second one is Oi with the Poodles already. Um, the I've only obviously picked this up twice and both times I've managed to get the um, hexagons in. So um, that's been good. She's falling. Um, the one in the middle is just a coffee cup and that's just all fill again just like the top one um but there's no back stitch in it so that one shouldn't be too difficult if i outline it i can just fill that one in um so i'm going to focus on these two hexagons here and get those ones done over the next month when um when it gets cold so yeah Loving that one. This is a, as I said, frozen 40 count linen from Forbidden Fiber Co. Um, it's got this, I'm using it twice. <laughs> um, this like coffee blue kind of modeling to it. And the needle minder says Luke's and is a twin mummy creations needle minder. Then uh, my other project, sorry, I, I realized I haven't, I haven't done this. So this is where I'm at now and I'll pop on the screen where I was, um, at the start of May. I did purposely take all these progress photos and then completely forgot about using them. Um, so here is the Dark Queen. Inside out. And then here is Gilmore Girls, and I will put on the screen where I was to begin with. 
and I'll remember to do it for the rest of the meal. Hi. Big. And um, then my other one is the Coffee Addicts Confession, which is from uh, Heartstring Samplery. Um, I am waiting on a couple of colors of this one, so it is making it a little bit challenging for me to do because of the counting. Um, a lot of it needs one of the colors that I don't have for me to be comfortable in counting it. So I'm just trying to work around that and just do what I can. Um, so I've put on the screen now where I once was when I first started it, um, which I'm pretty sure was just this solid line in the middle. Um, so I've done the two birds on the side and a couple of coffee beans. So now that I'm at the top, I should be able to work my way across in the coffee beans. I think apart from one here or there, I have most of the colors for that. So um, I should be right to do that one. And then once I can get far enough across, I can start the lettering. I'm just not confident in my counting. Um, from the Dark Queen, how many times I counted one and a half stitches because that's over two. Um, so I'm just, yeah, not comfortable. So again, stitching this on the Forbidden Fibre Co, the other half of the Gilmore Girls fabric. Um, so this is a 40 count Newcastle linen, stitching one thread over two on both of these. Um, and I'm using the called for floss. These are all over dyed flosses. So there's classic color works. I think there's a week's dye works and couldn't tell you what else because there's one or two other brands of floss, but yeah, loving that one. I love the daintiness of 40 count. It has definitely become my favorite, um, favorite th like material count, which I considering when I started this journey, I'd only ever stitched on 18 count Ada. Um, I, yeah, I went from 18 count Ada to 32 count and 36 count linen. And then now I'm on 40 and I'm loving it. So anything that I've been buying more recently, unless it's needed beading, I think I've been buying it in 40 count. So loving it. Next up is the Autumn Lane Stitchery Santa Ornament from Mines from the Just Cross Stitch magazine. Um, I think they have released this one now in their Etsy shop, but I did buy the magazine for it. Um, so this is where I'm at now, and this is on the screen where I was. Um, so I've got his face forming. I'm down to filling in the white around his beard. I need to grab, I think, one or two more colors, which are the reds that will fill in the rest of his hat and um, his top. But otherwise, just plotting along on this one. This is so wrapped up that I just can't be bothered undoing it. I know it's not good for the, the material to leave it in the hoop, but I just can't be bothered. And because this is my Wednesday piece so far, I haven't had the time to necessarily fumble around and, and kit it all up and, sorry, not kit it all up, but like set up. You know, that's like, that's like a process of what you need to do. Anyway, so this is on a, I believe a 32 count it's either 32 or 36 and it's mulberries and cream linen by nicola at number 12 stitch co on etsy located in brisbane so um i got i've got as you can see bundled up here i've got Santa, uh, mrs claus um so they're both on the same matching material okay uh, next up is, again, still haven't done it, is uh, Hello Petal by Caterpillar Cross Stitch. Sorry about the hoop marks. Um, this is on 18 Count Ada. I have stitched the other two, Hello Deer and Hello Pumpkin, on 18 Count Ada. So just, I brought enough for all four. Um, the Hello Sunshine Stitch Along starts on the 28th of May. So that's exciting. Um, I've pretty sure since my last video I filled in these couple of things and then I've done this whole section or at least finished it I think maybe last time I don't know whatever's on the screen is what it was but I filled in the um the nest and I definitely have done the birds so 
I think next up I'm gonna keep focusing on finishing this bottom section because um, it is all block color and just outlining everything at the very least because then this is an easy one to pick up. I'm not 100% sure if I like the mouse in this because there's a mouse here. And I've seen a couple of people change it and I'm just not sure if I, if I love it. So I might just leave that one to the end and just see what, what happens. But yeah, if you are, are stitching this one, please do use the hashtag Hello, Hello Petal SAL. Um, I've put it on the screen, so SAL for Stitch Along. There's a whole bunch of us that are stitching it um, that are using that one. There's, I think I, we all talk about each other every time, but Mary Ashcraft, Evelyn, Evelyn Across the Pond, um, Sean at Craftivating Creations, Beth from Stitch with Beth. So yeah. Uh, feel free to use that one, follow that hashtag along so we can all see each other's progress. A little bit of motivation. A couple of them are doing colour conversions or colours from Stash, so it is quite inspiring. The few of them have changed the rabbit, or the bunny, sorry, to be more of a grey rather than a pink. I don't know if anyone's changed things like the mouse into something else, um, but between that hashtag and the group, I'm sure I can figure something out as to, sorry, the Caterpillar group on Facebook, um, as to what I might do. So we'll see. I'm a little little ways away. I'd love to have it finished before Hello Sunshine, but I, I don't think I will unless I manage to pull it on a Saturday or a Sunday and just gun a whole bunch of stuff. I don't know. And then next up is Smooth C, which is a Stitch Rovia piece from her book, her first book, potentially. It's not the most recent book, um, Cross Stitch for the Soul, I think this one is. Uh, so this is in the book known as Design Number 5, but uh, Megan at Georgia Girl Stitching uh, called this one Smooth C and then it kind of just stuck, turned into a hashtag um, and a couple of us are stitching it or have stitched it. So I pop up on the screen where I was before um, May. Did I? Yeah, I did take one. Um, so next up for me, because this is actually today's chart, so once I've done this video, this is going on the hoop and I'll start stitching this one. Um, my goal is just to fill the rest of never made a and then the fill in of that and potentially even the two little motif like ball dongle thingies that are on the side um so that's the aim for this one tonight um fun little fact we are only just watching game of thrones i Kind of didn't, I'm not a massive fan of watching shows week by week because I get too antsy and impatient. I like when they're fully released or I'm behind a season and I can binge it because it does become a bit of an obsession. Um, so I never watched Game of Thrones partly because at the time I didn't have access to it through streaming or the, the TV, whatever it was playing on. Um, and then during COVID, we have... Fox Taylor pay TV subscription and we got the channel that had that um, for free during our sexual lockdown so I milked it and I've recorded the entire series so I think we're on season six halfway through season six um, so this will be mindless Game of Thrones stitching for the night um, because I can do it without concentrating on this rather concentrating on watching because, oh my goodness, do I get confused in this show. Um, so yeah, that one is stitched on a 36 count uh, white linen from Spotlight, our, Spotlight, our local um, craft store. Uh, I think it's Semco brand, which is their home brand. I'm stitching this one for my father-in-law. Um, probably more likely to be a Father's Day or birthday present because either way, they're both at the end of the year. So... Um, we'll see how we go and using all the cord for DMC. I am also stitching this two over two. Yeah. And then 
The last chart that I had in my list was Eye Candy by Carissa Rose, charted by Gecko Rouge, which is a full coverage piece. Um, it looks like this on the screen and uh, looks like this as to what I have stitched. I've made a massive like monumental mistake in my counting. I obviously was too confident or just didn't count it properly and thought it was all okay. So there's a lot of counting that's wrong in this and I know this piece is very forgiving because it's so confetti heavy and I can get away with it but it's just really irritated me. So the one day that I pulled it out in week one, I started to stitch and I think I did about 10 stitches of white and I just went, this is so wrong and I put it in the sin bin. So I have taken that out of my rotation. I am now going to be working on my um, Quaker Pumpkins from Hello from Liz Matthews. Um, so I'm gonna work on that one in place of my eye candy. And I think I'm gonna need to unpick all of the confetti and eye candy and just start again. Um, I, like I said, I know it's confetti heavy and it is forgiving, but I feel like what I've made a mistake on is like monumental. I've, I've added a line in one section, but then taken it away somewhere else to try and like counteract and counterbalance and nothing is just marrying up because they're, I think they're 30 stitches apart. So that whole section is gonna be wrong and I'm gonna constantly be playing fix it and that's just gonna annoy me. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pick it out and start again. Frog it, put it away for a while, start it with a clean mind later in the year. Um, but that means that I've had time to stitch on probably my favorite project in the history of projects. I like dream about this one. I'm obsessed. I love that I'm doing this on my own dyed fabric, the color of the fabric, the color of the floss, the 40 count, the daintiness, the prettiness of the chart. I don't know. It's just my favorite, my favorite thing I've stitched so far. Um, so like I said, this is Hello from Liz Matthews, Quaker Pumpkins. Evelyn from uh, Evelyn Across the Pond and I are both stitching this using the hashtag um, Hello Quaker SAL. So we made it quite universal so that uh, you could use either of the Quakers that Liz Matthews has released. She's got uh, this one, Quaker Pumpkins, and then Quaker Snowflakes, which I do plan on stitching as well. And in her most recent floss tube video, she does also say that she does have intentions of stitching the, oh, sorry, of charting the rest of the seasons um, as Quaker patterns to kind of go with it, but they're not in the pipeline yet. So it is one of those universal uh, hashtags that you can use for kind of any of them down the track. Um, one that I don't really plan on stop stopping use of because this is going to take me a while eventually Quaker Pumpkins will be done and I'll start Quaker Snowflakes that'll take me a while so if you are wanting to stitch either of them jump on the hashtag let us see your project get involved I love seeing them stitched so I've started in the center motif um, working my way on that one Evelyn has started in the top I think top left corner um, we're both doing them on 40 count linens, roughly the same sort of color. Hers is a Be Stitch Me, I think, fabric. Um, I could be very wrong on that, don't hold me to it. And I went through a dyeing ordeal to hand dye my own fabric. And yeah, <laughs> that's enough on that conversation. I ranted about it not enough in last video, but anyway. That's where I'm at. So this is then my Grey's Anatomy project. I was stitching this while I was watching Grey's Anatomy, which I'm so glad uh, a few of you told me that you also cry in every Grey's Anatomy episode because now I don't feel so alone. So thank you. Okay, on to haul. Um, the much talked about long awaited chart for Quaker Turtle from Ori TM has arrived. Probably should have taken it out of the plastic, but that's okay. So I'm going to be stitching this with a um, Armin m and silk. And I think, no, I can't remember what color I've, I've picked. Um, it's one of her May releases. 
um, agave nectar. I think that's the one I've gone with. And then I'm using a 40 count sea glass linen from number 12 stitch co, um, as well. So it's a light greeny, uh, greeny blue teal kind of fabric. And then a, um, a darker blue kind of material, uh, sorry, thread for it. So, um, yeah. Hello. Hi. And then the Nora Corbett saga that I went through a few weeks ago. So I am, I have started, and this was supposed to be part of my May plans, um, Buttercup Pixie Blossom by Nora Corbett. I've had this one for a little while. Saw it when Cassandra from Autumn Lane started stitching this one. Oh, I think she showed her finish on this one, sorry. Um, so I grabbed that one and I had two fabrics. Sorry for the crinkles. Two fabrics that I wanted to stitch it on. This one came in a lot uh, brighter, more vibrant than I thought it would and a lot yellower. And because her dress is predominantly yellow, that didn't really work. And I wasn't too, this was my other option at the time, I wasn't too keen on the blues with the yellow and the orange in the dress. So I put a poll up asking what I should do. Um, and I spoke about it in my video and I did a small start. Goodness, I did do a small start. Um, a small start on her just to see the colors. And I mean, it does stand out, but majority of the yellow is actually gonna end up being that color. Um, so I was stitching her this way, so it would be in the pink. But anyway, I made a purchase. It came in a lot quicker than I was ever expecting. I've grabbed a pole stitches fabric and it's a pink and white modeled kind of fabric. Um, it doesn't actually look as modeled in person compared to what it does on the camera, but that's okay. This is a 32 count. What is it? 32 count Murano Tudor Rose is the, um, the fabric color. And for lovely Pixie Blossom. So I'm going to, I'm going to change it. I'm going to unpick what I've done and I'm going to use this fabric, what I'm gonna stitch on the other two, I'm not sure. Potentially some other Nora Corbett's, but we'll see. I'm not, I love this one that I picked and there's one or two others, but I'm not that much of a Crash Hot fan of them um, in terms of my style and what they look like, but I love the idea of stitching them. Um, I think my style leans more towards Bella Filipina, so I'm not sure. I've got a couple of those on my wish list that once I get through what I've got here and I've started and planned and everything, I intend on purchasing a few of those. Um, but that's way down the track because I am not ready for that yet. But anyway, okay. So short video, definitely is a short video. My screen is saying 29 minutes. Anyway, do you want to say goodbye? Say thanks for watching me. Why do you look so uncomfortable? There we go. Say thanks for watching me. Thanks for hanging out. Can you, hey, hey, can you say please like and subscribe? No. Okay. Anyway, enough crazy dog lady chat. We're going to jump off here. We're going to bounce. Going to go park ourselves on the couch and start stitching on Smooth C. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, please like, subscribe, uh, Give me a follow on Instagram at Honeybee Stitcher. All the links down below. I'll try and tag who I mention and charts I mention and link things. Um, so if you have any questions and they're not down there, just leave a comment, send me a message, a DM, whatever is easiest and most comfortable for you. Um, thanks for hanging out on this crazy ride with me and, and seeing how I progress and um, grow in this community. I love being a part of it. I love interacting with you all. So thank you for taking the time to hang out with me. I will see you all in two weeks. Bye.